so it's my great pleasure now to uh, introduce the Unearthly Science Fiction uh, Anthology, which is original sci-fi stories, illustrations and comics devised by John G. Miller, who's actually here tonight. A Wester Hales artist who's been intriguing audiences for over 30 years with his unique mashup of raw psychedelia and parochial humour. It's published by Rob Miller's Brawl Books, a Glasgow-based imprint that is dedicated to publishing the very finest of Scotland's uh, underground cartoonists. Today, one of the artists involved, Adam Smith, will give a live presentation of a John Miller story which he helped to illustrate, entitled The Second Tetradon. Is that, did I say that right? Tetradon? I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I was going to pronounce it as Tyranidon, but I mean it could be. <laughs> Tetradon, Tetradon sounds kind of cool, I mean, I could, you know, both ways, you know. We can have a dinosaur yeah. off, whatever it happens to be. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, please put your hands together for Unearthly Science and uh, particularly uh, John Miller and um, Adam Smith. Thank you, and thank you, Russell and Noel and, and Mark initially, who uh, helped uh, from told us let us do this. Uh, just so this is the cover of the book uh, we're launching tonight. It's ten years in the, since conception and then another nine years in procrastination. <laughs> and uh, it's got about 40 odd pages in it. It's a variety of, uh, variety of art and uh, some comic strips, some text stories. Uh, and uh, even, a, even a story from 1967 seen for publication here for the first time. And uh, But most of it's more recent than that. Uh, and uh, my local hero, Mal Malky Duff, uh, another, another writer who's in the audience who didn't know he was in it until tonight is Andrew J. Wilson. Uh, it's unexpected, it was a surprise even to him. And so, yeah, it's just four pounds you want to speak to up there if you're interested in that. And you get seven pounds, you get the uh, box set of Star Trudge, which uh, is previously released on, on Broad Books. And there's a, uh, all five seasons of Star Trek, including uh, Star, sorry, Star, Star Trudge, sorry, including extras, uh, bonus features, and uh, commentary, and uh, bonus footage from the convention. So, just uh, just going to go through. I mean, this. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just. Uh, just going to do a sort of a cartoon concert about the uh, one one thing I was involved in here. Uh, yeah, this is uh, John Miller. Get that out of the way. This is a John Miller script and uh, breakdown, but I drew it worse than he would have. It's uh, not really that sci-fi. It's more of a Cowboys v Dinosaurs kind of thing, but uh, fits in a sort of larger Doug McClure definition of sci-fi, I'd say. Uh, it's an episode of Jed Hale, Arizona Sheriff, um, as a story by John Miller and also layouts uh, drawn by Adam J. Smith, and without further ado. A winged prehistoric creature had been terrorising the small mining town of Deathstone. Sheriff Hale found that a strange criminal madman was at work in the shadows, then had to deal with another crisis as well as the Holy Hagman, Hangman during the attack of the second Pteranodon. Do you take sugar in your nose, Mr. Hangman? The Pteranodon sees Jed standing in Deathstone Main Street with a batch of five dynamite sticks, the fuse lit and sparkling. Here comes Pteranodon. The dynamite explodes in the early morning sky of Wednesday, January 1877. Blam! Haha, -ha, blew that damn church tower to bits. The Tyranodon flies off to nearby mountains, startled with the loud bang of the exploding dynamite. The preacher, alleged to be a murderous criminal and payload robber nicknamed the Holy Hangman, emerges from the burning ruins of the church tower. Oh hell, the hangman! Sheriff Hale, you were punished for this! You will go to hell for eternity. You could be hung from the gallows by your own silly version of the law. Now don't you be mentioning the likes of a gallows for hanging folks in this here nice town, you shiting old silly bastard. Back to your mystic sir, studies preacher. Thou hast been punished, my son. Punished, yes, by the sight of your big face in the street. Please return to your shack. You will go to hell for not believing in heap big religion. The Tyranodon returns, seeing Jed returning to his office on his own. Shua! Oh hell, here comes Tyranodon again. Jed manages to reach the sheriff's office uh, building and hide indoors. Nobody's in that bastard jail to deal today. The Tyranodon frightens the population of Deathstone, all 47 of them. No, yeah, no I'll scream there. Uh, what a noise, this is getting serious. Run, flee, hide from Tyranodon. Down in hell, the mighty Satan thinks about the, the morning's events as he sees all, knows all, and does damn all. Readers of this comic will be relieved that there is no such thing as God in this universe. Lucky for Sheriff Hale, the Piranodon has no interest in eating humans. 
That afternoon, strange wanted posters appear on walls. Jed notices two suspicious looking strangers nearby. There's two moody looking bounty hunters, the Prophet and Toffee Town Tom. The Prophet is first to see the wanted poster. <coughs> Speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Toffee Town Tom sees the poster. And again. Suddenly the Holy Hangman himself accosts Ted. Howdy Sheriff, I'm going to build a big hang em high sign now. Do you take sugar in your nose, Mr. Hangman? Wah! Toffee knows Tom joins the fray in a noisy public brawler ups. You slimy jelly bastard! Ha, Jesus H. Christ! While the Tyrannodon returns, Prophet fires at it, scoring a direct hit. Ha <laughs> ha! Right in the guts! Prophet then turns to fire at Jed, however, Jed disarms him with the dagger dropped by Toffee Town Tom. Clown, you'll never kill me with that in a hurry, Prophet. You damn near sat on it! Ha <laughs> ha! You three can just get down to that there jail, clowns. The hangman and the two bounty hunters are locked in Sheriff Jed's jail in the sheriff's office. Eat your grub. Yum yum. Oh yummy. I'll talk to you clowns later. There's another Tyrannodon appeared. Ha oh, oh, ha. Thank hell. Jesus H. Christ. It's bigger and it's noisier than the last one. It's coming this way. Blam. Right down its bloody throat. I know this is the last of them nesting in the Arizona mountains. I'm sick of looking at them. The end. Um, hope you pass that pass the time to you. Please do it for me the comment up there. Thanks for coming. Thanks very much to uh, Unearthly Science, and there are copies at the back of the room there, and they've also kindly donated a, a single copy of the second prize in the raffle. Even more reason to buy tickets. Uh, thanks, it looks great. I'm going to get a copy myself, I think.